Hi, Mayor Rawlings and Council. Uh, my name is Dr. John Ganino. I'm an integrative medicine doctor in Heath, Texas. Um, a lot of what I do is detoxification of heavy metals in autistic children as well as adults with various problems, most of them neuromuscular things, uh, Parkinson's, uh, cancer, Lou Gehrig's disease, things like that, things that can be caused by toxins directly. Um, number one, number two, toxins also make your body's pH more acidic. Acid pH is where cancer grows. So that's a lot of what I do. Um, with respect to fluoride specifically, that's not one of the 20 toxins that we test for on our metals test. However, I will say this, um, studies have shown that fluoride can be um, uh, damaging to the thyroid gland which regulates your metabolism. And if your thyroid function is slowed due to fluoride toxicity, then the body has to make up for that decreased energy by the secretion of adrenaline. That's the fight or flight hormone. That's a hormone that oxidizes cellular structure and pushes you closer to cancer. That's the only really uh, comment I want to make about fluoride per se. However, and as I was telling John earlier today, if you take fluoride toxicity and you add it to the toxins in the food, air, and water, that's a worse situation. For example, uh, just as an example of how toxins show up in daily life. Uh, this patient is a 12-year-old boy who was brought in by his father for a chief complaint of a rash on his leg. Pretty good sized rash, about 12 centimeters long, about 8 centimeters tall. The boy was originally seen by his family doctor who gave him topical steroid. It didn't help his rash. So the doctor uh, referred him to a dermatologist. The dermatologist did a biopsy of the rash, which turned out to be inconclusive. I was doctor number three. Uh, that particular day, I said to the dad, I said, I want to do a test to check uh, your son for heavy metal toxicity. So we do a short little IV. It's called a chelation push. Uh, it's a chemical basically that pulls toxins from your brain, from your muscle, from your liver, gets them into your blood, blood goes to your kidneys, and the next day we have this 12 year old boy collect his urine. It's shipped to Asheville, North Carolina, three or four weeks later it comes back and it says he has absolutely zero toxicity except a panic level for arsenic. And I sat and was still. And a few seconds later, I said to the dad, I said, uh, where was your son born? Grapevine, Texas. Okay, so if there's anybody watching that doesn't know where Grapevine, Texas is, it's across the road from the third busiest airport in the United States, number one. Number two, we have a number of pilots in our practice, one of whom is a female named Bonnie, and I asked, I asked her one day, I said, Bonnie, I said, what, what kind of altitude are you guys at when you're flying over grapevines? She said, we're at about 400, 425 feet. So appreciate, this is not jet aircraft at 30,000 feet, this is jet aircraft at 400 to 425 feet, spewing arsenic out of its exhaust by the ton, 800 times a day. So my next question to the father is, how long has your son been drinking out of the tap? He said, ever since he was a baby. I said, where do y'all live now? He said, Louisville, Texas, which again is in that same flight path. So that's just an example of how toxins show up in the world. We, uh, just to finish up the story with this boy, We've been giving him chelation treatments uh, to decrease his arsenic toxicity and as you might surmise his leg now is totally cleared up and his rash is 100% gone. So um, I hope that helps uh, the cause. Um, it is a toxic planet. There, is way, there are ways to detoxify your body but if we can minimize the exposure and minimize the load and not add insult to injury I think that that makes sense. So thank you very much for your time.